Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today it's going to be a uh, kind of a quick video for one of two reasons. I'm ill and there is actually going to be no running video footage at the moment. So, what we've got back on the desk is the WPL B36-3 transporter. So, in my original review of, the, of this, I kind of said I was kind of disappointed in the length of this. I was kind of disappointed in the length of the trailer. You could not get another 6x6 on it without the rear wheels or the front wheel fouling on the trailer wheels. So, as my first mod, I've decided to make it even fucking longer. So, what you can see in the middle is a 3D printed extension. So, the extension adds the extra 100 millimeters necessary to fit larger vehicles like the 6x6. So, this now fits on it comfortably. I will also put a side note in. The version I'm so showing you now is actually a slightly older version. The tolerance on this gap here is a little bit too um, loose, to put it. So that's the reason why there's a bit of bend in this section of the frame. The tolerance is on the rear are spot on. So the, ver the version which I've released to the public will be the next version so it should be a lot tighter tolerance. The only reason why I've not printed one off like that so the only reason why I haven't put a tighter tolerant version on it just now is because during testing I've been printing them off as just an individual rail. This takes a lot longer to print two of them and the centre bit than it does to just print the edge. So as you can see underneath I've actually added reinforcing structures. So. I've also tested this on my resin printer as well. Again, sadly my resin printer will not print big enough to fit this fully on the build for well, fully on the build plate. So I had to print it in two bits and I'm gonna glue it back together. But I did kind of have a layer shift on these parts. So this is scrap. But, it's a good example to show you that I've actually added some reinforcements in the middle of it to help take some more weight. Because I would show you this one, but you can probably see it on here, I've left all, this, uh, all the support material. So the next question I'm probably going to get asked how do you connect these two wires now? They're too short. So to answer that one, you can either A, cut it, A, cut it and lengthen it off the motor side, or B, just get an extra bit of wire, wrap it round the screw, and then screw it down onto the washer, and then do the same on the opposite side, and you should get a connection across. Just bear in mind, make sure they don't, the positive and negative side don't touch with any loose wires and make sure you wire it the right way around. 
So, I want to say thanks for watching. A link to this will be available down in the description below. It will be up on my 3D Cult page. And, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want me to do more upgrades to the B36, or make an even longer one, let me know. And I will see you.